Welcome to the first episode of In the Shops, a show affiliated with At the Rail Yard, looking under the hood of your favorite sims and finding tips and tricks to getting the most out of your virtual railroading. Today, we'll be looking at Skyline Computing's Activity Generator designed for Microsoft Train Simulator. The challenge with a switching route like the Alameda Beltline is how to easily enjoy it. Because it is designed for switching, driving a train in explore mode ultimately won't be satisfying. You really need to make activities to fully enjoy a route like this, but the standard MSTS activity editor can be difficult to work with. Skyline Computing has one solution in the form of Activity Generator, a separate program developed to easily create freight and switching activities. It costs $15 and is available as a 3.5 megabyte download from their website. Activity Generator works with any route that has a template file. These templates are available as free downloads at SkylineComputing.com. Once you've installed a template, creating an activity is easy, even if you've never worked with the MSTS Activity Editor. The program allows you to create custom activities that can either be simple shunting or complicated switching. Using the program, you can select which tracks you will switch, including where cars are picked up and delivered to. You can establish parameters such as the maximum amount of cars on your train, the season, weather, and starting time. Once you're happy with your settings, Activity Generator randomly places freight cars according to your settings. It will add both cars that you will be responsible for and others that are just to fill empty spurs. After it's finished, it can create a notepad file for conveniently printing out work orders. The rolling stock required to create activities for a certain route is specified in the downloaded template's readme file. The tasks that each template focus on vary from route to route. For example, the templates for Streamlined Scenic Sub are suited for both yard and road switching, but Michigan Iron Ore's templates focus on hauling entire cuts of ore from one yard to another. Now, this program can't do everything. For example, it can't handle articulated cars or create passenger activities. Also, once you've created an activity, you'll have to do further editing of that activity in the default activity editor. You may need to try different settings multiple times to get the switching activity best suited for your needs. Overall, this is a great program to work with, breathing new life into routes that don't come with many activities and providing new possibilities for old classics. I give Activity Generator my seal of approval. To learn more about Activity Generator, visit SkylineComputing.com. To find other virtual railroading reviews and tutorials, visit at the railyard.com.